Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to fill this gap using Power Query. So let's begin. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to load my data into Power Query. So how we can how we can do that? Just select your data and till the end we can select it. Now, what I will do, I will simply load this data into power query just go to data tab and here we have from table and range now your range will automatically convert it into table do you have your header yes so click ok now i am cutting this now i am uh, loading one function here that is table dot fill now here we have two function whenever we are uh, talking about filling up means here we have fill down how do you want to fill your value let's say i want to fill down so let's say i am going to fill this east till here so i will use fill down and if you want to fill up this node till here then you can use fill up so i am going to use fill down so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on function key and table dot fill down now here it is asking me first argument table as table so my table is my source so I am simply writing my source now comma it is asking me column as list now which column you want to convert you want to fill down so let's say I am filling my reason column first now you don't need to be uh, careful about curly bracket, square bracket, anything. Power Query will automatically tell you how to put those things. So let's say I'm closing my parentheses and I'm, I'm not putting anything even curly bracket and square bracket. Now click enter and you will see here Power Query is showing error. We cannot convert the value region to type list. Whenever you are seeing this problem list. It means you need to put it curly bracket. So I am putting curly bracket. Okay. Now you will see since I have entered region column here. So that's why region has filled till down. You will see east has filled till down till uh, north is here and north is again filled till down. Now if you want to fill two column then you can uh, put comma and write the name of second one. Okay. Now every column has, has filled up. Now what if, let's say, I am closing this power, power query and let's say I am guessing uh, in tomorrow we have one more column here. Let's say I am closing this. So I am simply closing, uh, I am clicking, uh, clicking here, closing node 2. Now I am clicking here only create connection. Now my second example is, let's say I have one more column here. So I'm selecting this, I'm copying this and putting into my table. I want to keep my sum of sales to right side deliberately. Sorry. Here. Now what I want, I want that beside two sales, the column which is appearing on the left side and that is beside two sales shall be filled up. In future, let's say one column is added up by employee or uh, some someone, then it, it will automatically fill up. How we, we will do it? Simply I'm double clicking on it and reloading my Power Query. Now you will see when I have already copied that column in table, it has automatically loaded here. Now what I want, I want to uh, fill up every column. So in, the, in that case, I need to count every column, how many column we have. Let's say in future we can have, we may have, let's say five column, six column, anything. So besides sale, I will uh, fill every column. Even you can fill out the sale, but that is not solve any purpose. So I, I am simply cutting this. Now, what I will do in this case, I will simply click on this function key and I am typing table dot column names so what it will give us it will give us all column names i'm clicking here i don't need to put source in double quotes 
source close the parentheses and enter now you will see you have all names of column now what i want to do i want to reduce this uh, i want to eliminate this sum of sales so what i can do i can simply count this uh, we have two criteria we have two uh, method to do this either we can eliminate the sum of sales first by using list dot first end or last end then we have another option we can simply count that list and subtract one column so i am going to opt the second one list dot count now it what it will show to us it will simply show how many how many alphabet you have in your list and power query is case sensitive so you will see you have five column in your list now what i need to do i need to subtract one now i will copy this now what i am trying to do i am going to simply delete the formula once again and you will see the result is here once again now what i will do i will simply use list dot first power query is case sensitive so sometimes it gives us problem so list as list list is here now count count i can paste the same thing and you will see this is the count that is giving us four so if in future let's say we have five column so it will automatically give us five column and if you have uh, let's say 11 so it will automatically give 11 now and you will see the sum of sales has gone now we can simply copy this now again i am using the same one same thing function key and table dot fill down here we have source comma now column as list it is asking so i am simply pasting the formula which i have typed you will see it is a long formula now i need to put i don't need to put anything because it is automatically uh, closing now simply click anywhere and you will see it has filled up all the columns so if you have in future let's say one more column here it will automatically filled up now simply close and load now here it is load to right click on it and here we have table existing sheet i am going to load it on the new sheet and here we have new sheet okay and boom you will see now you don't need to do anything let's say if i am adding one more column and i am entering let's say company name samsung now if i will simply refresh it so it is taking all it is taking samsung word till the last record so this is the table fill down and table fill up so table fill up is exactly same as your table down so keep enjoying and keep learning see you in the next video